Are you ready to generate millions of particles to create the most cinematic scenes? Well, as it seems, I'm still on my quest to make the best looking circles. However, you can literally use any type of object to create your perfect After Effects visuals. So, we're gonna create these highly detailed particles that look amazing and do not require a NASA grade computer. Even if you have a toaster, you should be good to go as we don't use any third-party plugins or Pop-Tarts on this channel. Okay, the first step to creating cinematic particles is to import your graphic. However, to start off, I'll create a circle with the ellipse tool. Now, this will be our particle, so to make it more professional than my voiceover, right-click, go to Layer Styles, and add Gradient Overlay. You can click Edit Gradient, and make sure your first color stop is your primary bright color and your last color stop is a slightly dark version of your primary color. Now add a middle stop and make it a much darker version of your color. Now I'm just using grayscale here, but please do whatever you like. Now let's go back to layer styles and add Santa, I mean uh, satin. Set your color to your primary color and the blend mode to normal. And I would set the invert to off and increase the size to 70-ish and set the opacity to 100%. Lastly, add inner shadow, set the color to the same main color and the blend mode to normal, the opacity to 100% and the size to 35. All right, that's it with the blend mode options, but this is looking really clean and we're going to be the best. Now let's layer pre-compose our design. This way we can swap it out later in time if we want to do that. But now let's apply a few quick effects and we'll be almost done with this tutorial, I promise. So apply drop shadow, then change the color to, as you guessed, your main color and change the direction to the top left and then set the distance to two. Now apply the glow effect and now we have a beautiful white circle completely negating our work thus far. <laughs> but increase the glow threshold to around 90 to 95% and increase the glow radius to 400. To remove this black glow, set the glow colors to A and B colors and the color B to white. And coming to an end, apply poster rise and then set the level to around 60 to 70, giving you this nice texture effect. And since I'm working with white here, I'm going to apply tritone as an optional effect to give our object a blue tonality. But when done, layer pre-compose what you have and select move all attributes. Okay, I swear to you, we're done with all the designer effects here, but now let's get to particle making, baby. But first, be sure to get our 100 free template pack here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. As you may know, we also have tens of thousands of templates, including these cinematic titles you've seen in this tutorial, followed by transitions, animation presets, and everything you need to produce the best projects in no time, the link below. Okay, back in this. Create yourself a solid layer and apply the super expensive, I mean free, CC particle world. Never underestimate the power of this effect. All these little lines you see here are going to turn into these spheres or your custom object. So to do this, go into the particle tab and set this to textured quad polygon. Now present this to your client and tell them it's the emperor's new clothes. Anyway, go to texture and set the drop down to your design object and then turn that layer off. To begin the fun, set the rotation speed and initial rotation to zip zilch zero. Then typically I like to set the birth and death size to two, size variation and max opacity to 100%. And then to buy some opacity insurance, open the opacity map and draw this in completely. Now let's go into the physics and set the rules by setting the animation type to twirl. Now keep in mind these settings will be completely up to you. I'll set the gravity to negative 0.01 to have the particles float up or crazily fly up. But we can dial in the speed by setting the resistance and the extra to one. Okay, so we have too many particles here. So I'll literally type in to the birth rate 0 0.03 and then set the longevity to 15 so these particles never die young. And lastly, go into the producer and set the producer's location to emit the particles from under your scene by using these guides. You can also adjust the radius size as well to spread out the particles. All right, I know I promised millions of particles. However, I also want that beautiful depth of field because apparently everything looks cinematic 
when the cameraman can't focus the shot. So create a camera layer and make your particles a 3D layer. After Effects won't like this, but pretend nothing's going wrong. So duplicate your particles and push it back into Z position space. I would then go into the solid settings and increase the size of your layer until it fits into your composition again. Then go to extra and adjust the random seed to give yourself a different variation. Then repeat this process once more for a third and final layer. However, on this third layer, set the birth and depth size to 0.5 and the birth rate to one. And now we have a lot of particles. And because we have a camera, you can enable depth of field, increase the aperture by a lot, and then keyframe animate the focus distance to pop the blurriness between each of the three layers. You can even throw in a title between your particle layers to showcase the depth even more. But this looks awesome. Keep in mind, you can use different objects, color schemes, and different particle settings to create your exaggerated millions of cinematic particles. Subscribe and always be creative.